Amid reports that Meghan Markle's career and marriage to Prince Harry are struggling, the former Suit actress apparently got an interesting piece of advice from Kim Kardashian, which Meghan may take to revive her career. One report says that Meghan feels influenced by Kim's social media presence and is hoping to reinvent herself and control the media narrative in a similar way, specifically by returning to Instagram. Though the couple had an official account run by the royal family with over 9 million followers, it became defunct when they relocated to the United States amid a feud with Harry's family as well as the British media. However, it appears Meghan believes returning to social media of her own volition could be the publicity. Rumors suggest that she is behind a new IG account known as a Megan, which has already amassed over 100,000 followers despite having no post or visible profile picture. Yes, that's her. Expect an announcement very soon. She is coming back, a source told Daily Mail, seeming to confirm Megan is behind the one name account. Everyone in Hollywood is talking about the relaunch being imminent, they continued. Meghan has never made any secret of the fact she wants to return to Instagram. Meghan's return to social media isn't shocking, considering she hinted at the possibility last year. Do you want to know a secret? I'm getting back on Instagram, she said during an interview with The Cut, without revealing any other details. Meghan's return to Instagram comes at a time when her career is reportedly floundering ring. Instagram recently announced it was pulling the plug on their million dollar contract, while Netflix is reportedly thinking of doing the same unless Meghan and Harry produce better performing content. The career downturn has also apparently affected the couple's finances, which in turn has put pressure on their marriage. They've been dodging divorce speculation for months, with one report claiming Harry and Meghan have already hired divorce attorneys. Their speculation that Meghan's return to social media is also financially motivated. Some estimates suggest she could make up to $1 million per sponsored post. You have celebrities like the Kardashians who can command $1 million and up for a single post promoting a product. Social media expert and advisor Eric Schiffer said of Meghan's earning potential on Instagram. There is no reason Meghan couldn't be earning those sorts of fees, he continued. For now, Meghan hasn't directly commented on the speculation surrounding her Instagram return, but regardless, the buzz has created good publicity for the actress, which could be her goal in an effort to keep relevant in Hollywood. Still, Meghan reportedly continues to be under immense stress as she navigates her relationship and career struggles, with one report saying she is losing weight at an alarming rate. So why Meghan Markle left social media? Even though Meghan Markle's long-term legacy at the palace might be inspiring the communication office to be more creative in their use of social media, she and husband Prince Harry aren't particularly fond of it themselves. Ever since moving to California, the couple has used some of their newfound freedom to advocate against hate speech and misinformation online. Over the summer, they teamed up with the racial justice nonprofit Color of Change on their campaign Stop Hate for profit and behind the scenes, Meghan and Harry called business leaders to discuss Facebook's moderation strategies. In an interview Wednesday, Meghan spoke about just how deep her dislike for social media runs, comparing it to an addiction. There are very few things in this world where you call the person who is engaging with it a user. She said in conversation with Fortune's Emma Hincliffe, people who are addicted to drugs are called users and people who are on social media are called users. She also spoke about her personal decision to avoid having her own social media accounts, even though she did use one for royal work. For my own self-preservation, I have not been on social media for a very long time, she said. I had a personal account years ago, which I closed down, and then we had one through the institution and our office that was in the UK that wasn't managed by us. That was a whole team and so I think that comes with the territory for the job you have. I have a lot of concerns for people that have become obsessed with it, she added. And it is so much a part of our daily culture for so many people that it's an addiction like many others. There are very few things in this world where you call the person who is engaging with it a user. 
The interview took place as a part of the Fortune Most Powerful Woman Next Gen Summit, which was invitation only and had a registration fee of $1,750, according to Business Insider. Though the magazine later shared clips from Meghan's 15-minute appearance on their social media accounts, in an August interview, Harry said that focusing on the harms of social media would be a main focus of Archwell his and Megan's new charity venture that saw its official launch delayed by the pandemic. Even when Meghan and Harry have discussed the upcoming election, they have continued to reiterate how important social media is to understanding the world's political divides.